Nam the we hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to make a QR code generator, a generator, a Python program that will generate a QR code for us, right? So before diving into the program and explaining the whole concept about this project, let me quickly show you that what will be the final output that we are gonna make today, right? So just have a look over this image. This looks, this is a QR code, right? So basically this type of QR code we are going to generate and as soon as you scan this QR code, whatever the website, whatever the channel or something, whatever you had just mentioned onto the uh, like code for this QR code generator, as, as soon as you will just scan this QR code, that particular page or that particular website will open for you. Right, so this is the whole idea of the project that we are gonna make today. So let me quickly close out this one, right? this is the PyCharm IDE on which I am going to work today and I'm just like going to make the project on this IDE. Right. So without wasting time, let's get started for the things and the information about the libraries and all that things I would let you know in between the video itself. Right. So basically, uh, if I'm just going to make the project to generate a QR code, okay, to generate a QR code, in that case, I would be needing one library that I would be installing onto my device into the IDE, basically, whatever I am using. Let's say I'm using PyCharm, you must be using VS Code or any other IDE, whatever you just prefer, okay. I would just click on this terminal, okay, the terminal which I have in this IDE, basically. I would just zoom in so that you can have the look of the command, right. So the library that we are going to install today is QR code, okay, as we are just going to make a QR code generator. So in Python programming language, we have a particular library for this one and that is QR code. So I would just write on the procedure, right, or syntax for uh, like installing it. So that is pip install and it is QR code, okay. So this is the whole syntax that we actually follow. So pip install QR code and just hit enter. So basically, I have already installed this library onto my device, onto my IDE that I am using. So for me, it is showing that requirement already satisfied. But if you haven't done it till now, so for you, it will be downloading and after that, it will show successfully installed, right? Okay, I would just now close this terminal here and now it's the time for importing the library that we have right now installed. So for importing any library, I would just write here import and after that, I would just write here as QR code. Okay, so this means that I have imported my QR code library onto my file in which I'm just going to make the QR code generator, right? Now, moving on to the next line, basically here what I would just do is that I would give a variable name, okay? And in that variable name, I would be storing that uh, string which I want that as soon as I like scan my QR code, this string should come. First, I'm just like dealing it with a proper and an easy string. After that, I will let you know how to add on the links also into this, okay? So for that, let me let me just give the name as generate underscore image. Let's say this is the variable that I had made or generate underscore image. Okay. Now into this, I would just use on my QR code library that I have imported above. So QR code dot and that would be make. Okay. Make is a function that is basically now whatever the string I'm just going to enter inside this bracket inside this inverted commas. As soon as the QR code that will be generated, you will just scan that and that string you will be able to see, right? So here I am just writing geeks, let's say geeks for, and again I would just write here geeks, okay? Let's say geeks for geeks I have written. And after that, what I would just do is that I would use the same variable in which I have stored my, uh, stored that whatever, what I just want to generate onto that QR code. I would just use my save function here because I want to save that image also, right? So I would just use generate underscore image dot save. And now in the bracket, I would be giving the name for which you just want to save. Okay. Let's say I'm just going to give the uh, like uh, name as image one dot png, right? Let's say this is the image which I just want to like save on the file, right? Now the images which you'll be getting that you'll be getting onto that particular folder where you have stored your this project. Okay. Let me just quickly run out this project once and here. Okay. So basically see here, I would not be getting any output onto the console window as I haven't printed anything till now. What I had just done is that I have written as geeks for geeks inside this QR code dot make and I had to save the image. So I would just close out this output window now and just go onto the folder where you are making your project. So I am making this in this particular folder on the pie chart and here you will be able to see the same name of the file that is image one.png. So as soon as I just double click on image one.png, you are able to see a QR code here, right? Now this is the QR code which is generated 
through the program through this code which i have written and with your mobile phones if you're just going to scan this so as soon as you scan this and on that particular like uh, scanner you'll be able to see geeks for geeks written okay just try that on your site so this is the qr code that has been generated for the string that is geeks for geeks right i hope till this point just very clear to you okay now basically here I have done that thing. Now I just want to add some, let's say I want to uh, like make the size big or small. I want to change out the color for that, uh, this particular uh, QR code. I want to insert some link into this and all those things, let's say I want to do it now. Okay. So for that, basically I need to write some extra commands here. Okay. Fine. Just come on to this line where I have after the import QR code, where you have imported a library, come next to this line. Now, just start writing the code here for basically that uh, what uh, box size you want, what should the length of the border and all that things, right? If you just want to make it look more nicer, okay? So, I would just add on here that is, let's say I'm just going to add here features, okay? Features is one of my variable that I am making here. So features is equal to, again, I would just use that my QR code library, which I have imported, so QR code dot now he basically here i would just use qr code now just make sure to write q r and c in caps and o d e in small okay don't miss this thing here right qr code now in bracket i'm just going to write that which version actually i want let's say i just want the one version is equal to one okay i would put a comma here and after that what should the box size okay i would just write box underscore size let's see the box size which i prefer let's say that is 40 okay now from your end you can just enter any value whatever you wish right now let's say from my side i'm just entering the box size as 40 and the last parameter which i just want to pass here is the border okay what should be the length of the border so let's say for me the length of the border should be let's say three okay this is the length of the border that actually i want here to be appearing right that i have done now here basically after onto this next line what i would just use i would use one add underscore data function which we have here now that what actually will it do it will actually store the link of the website or link of the youtube channel or whatever i just want to open while scanning the qr code okay now i would just do here something like let's say i would again use that features variable only because what do I want? I want that whatever the features I have given in this features and this features variable all should appear onto the QR code that I'm going to make, right? So for that, I'm just using that features here. So features dot, as I mentioned that the uh, like function would be add underscore data, right? So features dot add underscore data. Now into the bracket, I would be entering that uh, website or that channel link or whatever the link you just want it to be appear, appear while scanning the QR code. So let me just quickly add on the link here that is let's say HTTPs and I would just put one this colon double colon www dot that would be youtube dot com again I would just put one slash and the C slash and here I would be adding the channel that is geeks for geeks let's say geeks for and geeks and that one is the videos geeks for geeks videos right so this is the channel this is the like youtube channel which i just want to appear as soon as i just scan the qr code okay right now coming on to the next line basically what i would just do here is that i would make here uh, features again i would just use that features function which i had made so features is equal to sorry features dot make okay features dot make and into the bracket, I would just write here fit is equal to two. So that means that basically whatever the things I have, whatever the box size and border, all the things I have given, the QR code that should be coming, that should be fit into that particular size only, right? And after that, this is actually done. That is a generate underscore image that I have just taken. Now here I would just make some changes, okay? I would just apply some changes here. Now let's have a look at what changes will I be doing. So I would just remove this line from here. I would just write generate underscore image. Now here I would be using that features function which I had made it made above. Okay, features variable which I had made above. So features dot and I would just use here make underscore image. Okay, features dot make underscore image and in the bracket. Now what actually color actually I just want of the QR code that is coming. Okay, I would just write here fill underscore color. So whatever the QR code should be generated, I want the color of that to be black right and what should the background color of that uh, like image that will be appearing so i would just write back underscore color 
is equal to and back color i just want it as white okay this is the true color which actually applies right that the qr code that is generated that is of black and the background color is actually white here right so that i have done and here basically this line would actually remain the same which was it was previously that is image one dot png that it was previously applied also right so here i have again completed the program now i would just change out the image from image one to image two okay i would just like open a little bit here fine let me quickly run out the program now once again and show you that what actually changes have been made again here i am just getting no example no output as i mentioned and i just double click on this image 2.png and now you are able to see the image right now you are able to see the difference between the first image and the second this was the first one which we had made using that three lines of code right and now this is the second one which is appearing in which i have given some particular uh, border and some particular box sides and all that things right let me show you one more thing let me show you how to change out the colors let's say i'm just using here fill underscore color black now let's see if i just want to change in like make it to any other color any other color whichever i just wish right so instead of this black you can just write any color name whatever you just wish okay of your choice let's say i just want to add here blue okay b l u e and i would again change the name for the email let me just scroll the the side and i will just write here as three let's see okay and i will just run my program here uh, okay let me close close it and i will just double click on image 3.png okay so just just wait a second it is basically opening right so here you can just see the blue image of the qr code that is coming right so even you can just change, change out the images and from your phone you can just scan it and just verify that this how like which image uh, which color is working which color is not working that totally depends on you right so i hope you had got a fair idea that how you can just change out the code how you can just change out the programs let me even just show you one more thing here with changing of the border let's say i'm just giving the border as let's say five now okay and now if i just make one more thing here and if i just change this to image three to four okay and now i just run the program here fine so it has been closed and image four i just double click on that right so basically now you're able to see the difference in the border this is the image three this is the these are the image two in which you are able to see the border okay now just quickly i'm just going to click on the image four see it is basically the border is coming high right so this is basically how the factors depends and how you can just change out the factors and make it according to your choice and even you are just able to add on the some data and some website or some channel links also into this right so i hope you are very much clear with this how you can just make a qr code generator for any website or any channel or something whatever you just want here right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care and basically do not forget to like subscribe and share the channel